What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Okay folks, we're going to be looking at 67P again because I think there's a lot more details that we can pull out of the photo than we did last time. We're going to be doing the back ground of this or the other side of this rock and I think you're going to agree there's some really crazy things on this rock that don't belong there. Now keep in mind this rock is I think uh, two miles in length. Just think about here on earth folks, right? How many structures can you get within a two mile range? If you live in the city, you can get quite a bit in two miles, right? So yeah, I'm going to show you some things that look like structures or look like crafts, at least in my opinion. Make sure you get your magnifiers out this time, folks. You're definitely going to need them. And don't forget to pause it in the areas that you find really interesting. All right, without further ado, let's just jump right into this. All right, here's a photo we're going to be looking at. Now, we looked at this before, found some incredible things. Now, folks, remember we were talking about this piece right here. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen, this weird shape right here, Okay. Now, I want you guys, again, make sure you get your magnifiers out. Look at the smaller details within that area. Very, very fine lines. The manipulation in this photo is insane. You can see the artifacts that they're putting onto these photos are like blurred squares and then making them look like compression artifacts. But again, right inside of this white framed area, we have smaller details in there. But that's not it. There's much, much more in here. Again... We're going to be looking at all of this area down here. And we're going to look at what looks like structures and some weird looking things that should not be on a rock like this. Okay. All right. Let's just jump right into this. Here's the photo. We're going to jump right into the back here. We're going to enhance this. And then I'm going to circle these and let you guys have a better look. First thing we're going to look at down here. Look at the white shape, not the rest of it around it, but the white shape. Doing this here, okay? And it goes to the back. I'll pull this off. Have a look. Again, right here. The smaller items here. I'm going to try not to go in too much because it does actually mess with the photo. It does have some blur, but we will sharpen it up. Here. Again, pause this any way you like. This item. These here I find very interesting. Will look like pipes. Framework. These right here. This gets better and better because this area alone is amazing. I want you to concentrate on what you're seeing here. Look at these what look like stones put away. Kind of looks like it does this. And then what looks like these weird white kind of tubular items, almost like large pipes. Here. This looks pretty interesting, too. I don't know what to make of this, but it looks like something almost like doing this. It's going down like this. Looks like windows kind of thing with a separation right here. I'm not sure what that is. This item here. This here. Now, I'm just going to show you a couple more things, and we're going to jump right into the full enhanced. What you want to check out is this area here. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen and circle it. Pause that right there. Have a look at the shapes within this area. Here as well. And again, I'm going to fully enhance this because this is cool. In fact, why don't we just jump into that? And we're going to have a better look. Look at any one of these areas here. It's just some weird stuff coming off of this. Here. Again, I brought this up so you can see those lines. I can bring it back to the original, and you can still see those lines right here. Whatever this thing is, that looks mechanical. See it? Stuff is hidden inside here. You can see the blur where they try to take it completely out of there. Check that out. Here's that item I was telling you about earlier. There's one below it as well. That's the white pieces you really want to concentrate on. 
right there. The other piece is within here. Here. Let's move it over here. Something's got that weird shape, highly reflective piece here. Okay. Again, I showed you this earlier. Right there. Now, as we get to the top of this, this is where it gets really cool. Here again, these pipes. Looks like framework of pipes, whatever they may be. Look at the smaller pieces in here now. Again, we're looking at the whiter pieces. They try to take this piece out. Look at the shape of this thing. It is round, and I got this piece right here. You can see where I tried to bring it out. There's, there's more white right underneath that. You can see where I tried to pull that out. Going a little further. I had to try to blast it. That's why it's fuzzy right there. Okay. Okay. This word gets really interesting. This up here. This is enhanced and actually sharpened. Let's get rid of the sharpened. Okay. And let's show the original. Nothing has really changed. Other than making the whites brighter and bringing out some more clarity, that's it. Okay. Here. And notice some of the details that are on these things. Really, really neat. Like, for instance, this right here, you can see it actually goes under this white. Yeah. You see it just traveling right there. There's the outer piece of it. It's right there. You can see the black line. Kind of go like this. And what looks like an opening of some sort, right? You back out just a hair bit. We don't want to see too much of those marks. And like I said, just these alone. This item here. Not sure what to make of that. Doing this here, coming back down. We're going to drop down here, folks. Just look at some of the shapes that are in here. What looks like straight pieces, L-shaped pieces. This area right here. Right here. Items right here. And you notice they're inside a clearing. Look at this right here. This is cool because it looks like it has this piece actually sticking up with an oval slit type thing. It does this, but it's literally going around like this. Okay? And this goes down like this. See that? Right here. Check that piece out. That is neat. I'm not even sure what to make of that. Again, I'm trying not to get in too much because you start really bringing out their compression artifacts. We have this other item here right next to it. There. This whole area right here. Pause it right here after I circle this and have yourself a good look. Pause it right here. Especially this item here. Kind of almost triangular shape piece. With a darker piece on top of it right there. And all of these items under here, look at the shapes of these things. And again, this item right here with this whole area. Now, let's rotate this a little bit. Okay. Now, here's some more interesting items. On this platform, right here, notice the actual platform. Right there. This whole area right inside there. Look what's on the ledge of that here as well. Look at what look like structures and items that don't just look like simple boulders and rocks, right? Something right here. Look at the items inside here. Let me just go to the right here for a moment. 
Check this area out right here. This is cool because this area here, you can see they're hiding something there. This is the original. Okay. You can still see this area right here. Watch. It's still there. Whatever that thing is, and you can see what looks like this weird shaped item here. But it's so blurred out, you can't tell what it is. But something tells me that's something high tech. That's not natural. Here we are right here. This is where it gets even cooler. We're going to look at this area here. Pause it right here. Have a look at this massive item, whatever this thing is. And it's got a shadow underneath it. But also take a look at what's around it. Little pieces here. Here. Other pieces right here. Here. Okay. This looks like some weird kind of porthole or something going on right here. Notice the inside. And it looks like it has like a door that closes down onto this. Let me clear these out. Look at this thing here. What is going on there? Put it in the middle of the screen here a little bit better. This is the original right here. You can still see that right there. Okay. All these items here. This is cool because when you look at these things, it makes sense that they're here. If you see something like this anyway, right? Something like that. But check this whole area out. The whole area, folks, is basically, in my opinion, structures. You already know my take on these. These, to me, don't look natural. Notice the shapes that are within this. Okay. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these are compression artifacts overlaying this photo. Case in point. See the lines. They're literally dropping this on top to try to get you to think, oh, yeah, there's nothing there. See that? You can still see all of these pieces in the stock photo. They are, in fact, there. Same thing with these. They're all over the place, folks. And a lot of times you'll see like the same color and texture like here. They'll try to put it over half of the item. Like you can see right this item right here. It's like you can see the white and then the half of it's completely covered. See that? It's cool and interesting, but at the same time, talk about total lies. Talk about what they're really doing to these photos because, wow. This I thought was interesting right off the bat. It's pretty cool that this thing can have a straight line up here. Out of all that is supposed to be just a simple rock, that this happens to be completely straight. In between these mountains? Hmm. Something up here. But like I said, look at this whole area. Now we've seen it a little bit differently. Right here. Here's the area I told you guys in the last video I did of this same area. It has this weird plateau like it's off the side of this ridge or this mountain. And you can see what look like structures in here. Almost like an L shape. But now that you can see this a little bit better, it looks like they try to put like these little compression artifact squares over this. Check that out. Look how these things have height to them too. Right here. This item right here. How big it is. All right. Back out. Let's go ahead and rotate this a little bit more. We found these before. What looks like pieces sticking straight up off of this off this rock. Now, is it possible it's just ridges? Sure. But it's the way they look. Here's the original. Didn't do a whole lot to it other than just brighten it up a little bit. Now, let me show you folks something really interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to bring up the exposure. And we're going to have a look. It's one thing to have docking photos. But watch what happens when we do this. Okay. 
Now, what I find interesting is that the way this is here, it's like they're trying to block out areas here. And the reason why I say this is because why are these completely clear? Well, what I mean by is this information right here and here. How is there information there? You can see where this looks like they've literally digitized this out. Okay. Now, I get the fact that you can have the darkness, but you can also see that they're squared off. You can see that right here. They're literally hiding things in here. Yeah. It's one thing to have darkness, but that's not what we're seeing here. What we're seeing is actual centering in this photo. This item here. Some things you can see where they're, they're doing this. Look at this. And you can see where they try to go around these items and just block out the rest. You know there's much more on this rock than what they're showing. Than what we're even seeing in this. Back it up a little bit. Rotate it. And just the way these things are. The centering in here. You can see that. This is the dark area. This is what you should see. This area right here. This right here, the small piece. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. This here is what you should see in the photo. You should not see this. This digitized area out. You should not see that. This area here, which it has just this gray and not here, this is information being redacted. That's what that is. And they know exactly how to do this. Look at this. They're hiding whatever's on this rock, folks. What I've seen in here is more than enough for me to believe that this is not just a natural rock. And if it is, they're literally living on this rock. And you can see that many of these structures, there's just no way that these are natural formations again here. And many other spots we're looking at. There's just no way. Here. And all these other places, folks, look at this. Really, really interesting pieces here. As always, folks, you be the judge. Folks, what are we looking at here? Tell me what you think. And I don't know about you folks, but when I look at this thing, I go, wow, it's a cool rock. It's got some really good detail. But it has this ominous look to it, doesn't it? So uh, what are we looking at here, folks? Are we looking at a rock and that they built on? Or is it possible that this is their planet? Think about that a minute. Now, most people say, planet? Why would that be a planet? And there's no water on this. No we don't know what these beings eat. Do they synthesize food? Is it something they eat that would we would never eat in a million years? Maybe our biological bodies wouldn't eat anything they've got to eat. We don't know. We just make the assumption that they would eat just like us. Drop a comment down below, folks. Let me know what you think. I'm curious to see what parts you've seen. If you've seen something interesting I didn't mention, leave a timestamp with what you found. This way we can all take a look at it, right? And folks, don't forget to share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And when you do, there'll be a drop-down box that comes down. Don't forget to tick the box that says all, and you'll be notified of every new video coming out. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.